Hello everyone, my name is Bodesta2 here and welcome back to the world of Minecraft 1.16.2 As we can see, or 1.16.2, 1.16 As you can see the world has been updated here, we have got some new nether trees in the look to the background here We've got some bone blocks in the nether, some blue fire And probably glowstone blocks So I thought today, I haven't done a video for quite some time So I thought today we're going to explore the world of 1.16 Or the nether of 1.16 so let's hop right on to the Mushroom Co server. Okay people, we are starting things off in my lovely store here. And it has been some time since we've seen this place here. But everything's a bit weird since I can't, oh, I can't zoom since I don't pop the fine. But anyway, the store is looking great and looking fantastic. And as you can see in chat there, all the commands are somewhat broken. So I'm going to have to try and make my way over to my base somehow. I forgot about the eye up there. And I've also expanded the store down here as well. So we've now got room for farming supplies, enchanted books, concrete powder, and the new spot for my store, which I'm going to be working on very soon, is going down. Ooh. That's new around the blocks, I think. I don't think it's ever highlighted in there. So the new bit is going to be expanding down and into the lovely nether shop my nether shop store so I'm gonna work my way over to the base since I can't go my no, normal command is harm base home base so I'm gonna work my way across to the as long as the coordinates still work yep I'm gonna work my way across to my base we'll have to locate it first anyway and I'll see you guys once I reach my lovely nether portal okay everyone after multiple hours I've finally managed to locate my lovely little base here. Good thing I've got all these water elevators around the place because I've no access to my usual command fly. And oh, I come so close to death. My major issue I've got is I have no food as I placed it all on my store before I logged off. I didn't think I'd lose my commands. So now welcome to my shambles of a base. I just have to try and find some food now, which I believe it's up the next level. Oh, it's so slow without it. So I'm going to go ahead and get some food, clear out this inventory when I was trying to mine my way back to my base. I thought I could mine my way back, but I was, yeah, I was thousands of blocks away. So I'm going to go up and get some supplies, and then we're going to pop through this lovely portal. Okay, everyone, I've got myself some supplies here. Some gold, because I'm pretty sure we need that there now. Some shulker boxes, some fire resistance, and an ender pill. And I just thought of one thing, I need to get myself a lovely gold helmet as well, I haven't really explored the nether at this stage, I really have no idea how it all works. But I know that, well I've seen Hermit's, Hermit Kraus videos and I think we need some gold on us uh, so we don't get attacked by the new pigmen out there. So let's work our way into this lovely new world. Let's just hope not to die straight away. Okay. So, start off with, I can notice, oh, I can't use this stupid zoom. So, oh, that's a new sound just there, mining up the nether horts. It sounds very similar to the honey block. I'm assuming this is glowstone block. Oh, nether gold ore. Oh, so, can this be smelted down into gold blocks in to make so gold nuggets I'm assuming I might actually have to go back and get myself a um, a furnace just so I can experiment with all of these bits and pieces okay so I've just popped back through the portal again I thought maybe ah fortune six oh six that gave me how much did they just give me No, no way. No way that gave me 30. Okay, so it gave me 8. 16. That's pretty random. 6. Oh, that is such an easy way to get gold. Oh. Could this be? 
Well, I've been, well, I've somewhat been hoarding it in a separate, a secret place from the gold farm. And this is super easy to get it now. You just have to spend a lot of time just mining it. And then, so you don't need to smelt it at all. That's good then. Three, four, five, six, seven. So you should use your Fortnite. Or the Fortnite sucks pick. And that gets plenty of it. Hello, little piglet. I love your little floppy ear. I think you're missing one. So can you just trade with these guys? Or do they have to be a specific race of pigmen? Are they a bit faster now? I can't really tell. Hmm. I think I should do one thing before I go away, is I should write down the chords of my coordinates. My coordinate of my portal. Oh! Oh! Just notice something. These ones here are slightly different. Um, let's just go. We've got some with with gold boots and different skins on that run faster. Let's see. Let's go back to normal view. Now, are they going to it? Are you coming towards me? Please don't attack me. So, hello. Oh, hello, my friend. Oh, I love these sounds they make. Oh, oh! I don't want to accidentally hit you. What else are you gonna give me? Oh, oh, leather! That is cool. Oh, and your little—I love your little um, your crossbow. I haven't actually experimented with those. Can I chuck you down multiple bits of gold? No, you only pick one up at a time. Oh, fire charge, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Some more leather, nice. Oh, some aside obsidian, that is cool. Let's just chuck you down multiple bits. So, so far we have got these off of this fellow pigman friend here. Oh, we've got some more of that there, Le beautiful. Hello, piggy. Oh, what's this one here? Like a fire resistance. I'm going to keep that in my inventory along with my other stuff. Some more obsidian. Beautiful. These trades are pretty good so far. Some more cyan obsidian. I'm not exactly sure what you do with this. Can you mine it? Okay, you need a pick to mine it. It glows. Now that's, that's cool. Some soul sand. Oh, you're not getting angry at me, are you? Do you just fight over the gold? <laughs> I think they just fought over the gold. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to trade a little bit more of these guys and see what else I can get. Okay, so we've got a little bit more items here. We've got some lovely ender pearls and a good little selection of items there. So I'm going to click that up and let's continue exploring this world. <laughs> they make such interesting noises. There's so many of them. It's weird how many mobs are in the nether. We don't normally get this many in the nether with the amount of people that are online. So, let's... Let's just try not to die. That's the main thing here. I just love the sound. Hello, my little friend. How are you going? Oh, it's a cute little one. Can you? Can I trade with you as well? Oh, so you've got two ears. You've got one ear. Do these guys... What? Piglin retreats. Oh, so these ones, you've got two ears. You've got ones with one ear. So these are the smart, intelligent ones, maybe. Are you the smarter ones? I'm not really sure. And you guys are the normal one. Okay. Okay, plenty of different... Oh, I like this. I like this here a lot. Look at that. So new little trees over there. Now my question is, can I harvest these and put them in the overworld? Grow them in there. 
So that's a new fungus, a little fungi. No, it can't do that. So what is this stuff called? Oh, this is... You can insta-mine it, can I... It's weird how you can't do with that there, but... Oh, I always love that. Oh. Oh, yeah, I got some of this, um... Some roots. It's a new block that, that looks like somewhat... Pretty much looks similar to coral. This should be able to be mined. And the thing is, will this deteriorate? Oh, that looks cool. Is it the glowstone? Shroom light. I like the look of that. That looks like a glowing honey block. Oh, and some new vines by the looks of things. Can I harvest that with, with silk? Yes, I can. So some weeping vines. Can that be planted on the ground? No, it cannot. It's only on trees. Oh, you can harvest it with your hand. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my god. What? So these are netherwort trees then. Oh, jeez, I'm running out of inventory space for all these new block. Oops. All these new blocks. It's like, whoa. Whoa, my dude, whoa. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to gather some of these resources around the little area here. And I'll be back with you guys. It's very... Hello there, my little friends. <laughs> Hoglin growls angrily. That is... Are you angry at me? <gasps> Look at those little things. What do they look like? They look like those little creatures from, um... Oh, I can't remember the name of them. From a TV show, Little Monsters. I'll try and find a picture of those there and put them up on screen for you. Because they look exactly like those little things. Now they're looking at me, looks nothing like those monsters we see on the, the update there. His name's Crumb from the... Ah! Real Monsters show. He's just got hairy things. Hairy armpits, that's all they look like to me. One of those characters. Okay, back up to the world. They look cute. They're walking on lava by the looks of things. This thing here, you are grunting angrily at me. So, oops, wrong view. Are you going to kill me? Get rid of you. I don't trust you. There's more of them. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm, I might just stay away from there. I'm not sure how much damage they'll... Um, how much damage that would do. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Oh, no. I'm lagging too much. I'm lagging too much. No, no, no. No! <laughs> this is not fair. Go away! <laughs> oh, come on. To make things worse. No! <laughs> oh, I'm so too much. No, I don't want to go down there. Hold on. I don't want to go down there. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, that is not good. That is not good at all. <laughs> Let's write down those coordinates because I'm not going to be able to get back to there. Shit. Oh, 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 oh. This is my life now, running around on a pathway trying to find out how to get home. I'm very, very, very lost right now because the spawn has moved to a different location and since I died I cannot get home and I cannot get back to my coordinates with all my lovely stuff. Uh, yay, I love vanilla Minecraft. I just wish, wish, wish I could just get back to my stuff. Oh well, entering... Uh, yay, so if I'm entering a city on the server, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping there's a portal around here. I want to try and at least get back to my coordinates somewhat. Ooh, this is a cool little place. The thing is, I can't see if anyone's, who it belongs to, as we don't have the claim plugins not working. This looks, oh. This looks similar to... I can't tell if it's Gilmish's place or not. 
Yep. So. Okay, thought I'd try and gather some resources to try and get back to my stuff, but no, that's not working out because these little shits keep killing me. And it's not that frickin' fair, you little... <sighs> I'm over the server now. Completely over it. What was the point in even trying? <laughs> and I've taken all my frickin' stuff. God, it's not goddamn fair that you just keep goddamn killing people. Leave me alone. Piss off! This is the moment I rage quit after doing a big long complaining message. I rage quit because this little shit. Here we go folks, I'm now working my way back to my lovely base here. I'm probably revealing too much details of where it is, I don't want really people to grief it, but oh well. Everything's griefing now. Yay! Oh! Finally found some of my items. And it's probably just blowing them up. Look up. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh. oh go away, you stupid gas. Okay, I'd like to say a big thank you. A big thank you to Luigi for teleporting me. He got online when I said something about people killing me at spawn. So thank you for helping me out, Luigi. There's some new people online that I've never seen before, and they they just ticks really. They just kill you and slaughter you at the spawn. So like, what? So I've done the smart thing now. I've set my spawn point at a bed. So hopefully, if I die, I should go back to there. Maybe. Oh, it's so irritating. Anyway, let's keep exploring this lovely world. Oh yeah, and grief is really high on the server at the moment. People just keep on wrecking things. It's like, what the hell, man? What the hell? What? Did you, uh, did you see that? They, they still attack me. I, I don't get why they attack me and I've got gold armor on. I just don't get this weird update. And why can't I eat my golden carrots? Here we are, folks. We are now in this other biome called the lovely Basalt Deltas, or whatever it's called. So it's got an interesting block, or well, interesting blocks as you can see here, and you can make them all nice and polished which is going to be another little addition to the game, which this is so cool. It looks like um, ash is just falling from all these areas. And it looks like there's another dark block up there. I never knew slimes did that across lava. Oh, and it's just disappeared. But yeah, it's been an interesting... Why is everything basalt? <laughs> it's interesting how all of this is, or how this world looks now. I'm just really trying to be extremely careful because I don't want any because yeah you don't want anyone to grief your places so that's why I don't really I'm probably not going to release this little video anyway until a little bit later wrong because I don't want anyone to come and just raid my base or anything like that there so I've explored this area I've been doing some trading with the lovely piglins or whatever they're exactly called they're probably all despawned now. But I had some in here, I was just chucking some gold down to them, and I got some more enchantments, some more crying obsidian, some potions of fire resistance, and some gold, not gold nuggets, and all that type of stuff from them. And it is very interesting, this update. I like it. It'd be great once the server does have its um, normal commands and that back again. And it is a little bit weird that, um, I don't know how they work. They just start attacking you for no reason. I've worn gold armor. That didn't work. So yeah, it's a little bit different. Here we go, Bill. Here's a jump into the future right here. As you can see, we are now exploding some beds. And whoever thought would people would use beds to explode in any of this. That's the thing you wanted to avoid. That's what causes death. But yeah, slightly after this clip. 
I did the new thing, placed down a bed and clicked it right next to it. I exploded and lost majority of my stuff. But anyway, it's such a fast way using beds now to try and find that ancient debris. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going through and I'm placing down the bed, as you can see there. And then you step back a little bit and then boom. And try not to catch on fire, which fires everywhere. Fire, fire. <laughs> it will burn, burn, burn you. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear out a little bit more of this area here. And I'll speed it up for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your days. Let's speed up this little bit here and enjoy the rest of the short video.